Hi, my name is Megan McNish, and I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia's Planning and Development Services. Today, I'm going to be telling you a little bit about the history and the architecture of the Elmwood Park Architectural Conservation District. First, we'll dive in uh, to a little bit of the history of Elmwood Park, starting with the 1891 subdivision, um, which was the first subdivision of lots in the area that would become Elmwood Park. 1905 was the first time that uh, lots were sold at public auction um, in, El in the Elmwood Park area. Um, and it was also around this time that Charles Logan, a prominent property owner in the area passed away. Logan set aside land um, in his will uh, to be used for public school purposes. Um, this also spurred uh, the South Carolina State Fair Association, which had been operating in the area, to uh, move their operations to their current location on Rosewood Drive. Uh, that spurred uh, some of the development in Elmwood Park, and by the 19-teens, construction had begun in earnest in the area and continued through the 1920s and 30s. In 1913, Logan School opened and welcomed its first class of students, um, and that student population continued to grow. By the early 1940s, the neighborhood had largely been developed, but by the 1950s and 60s, the area started to fall on hard times. Suburbs further afield became more popular, and the neighborhood in general started to fall into disrepair. In the 1970s and 80s, uh, private investment and the City of Columbia ensured that Elmwood Park continued to live on and the neighborhood experienced a revitalization. In 1988, the area was locally designated as an architectural conservation district, and in 1991, it was listed in the National Register of Historic Places. So now we'll dive into some of the architectural styles that characterize Elmwood Park. And when you think of Elmwood Park, you likely think of the Queen Anne style, or sometimes colloquially known as the Victorian style. It's by far one of the most popular styles in the district, and Queen Anne style houses can be found along Park, Lincoln, and Gadsden streets, although um, they're also common on the side streets as well. Some of the common features of Queen Anne style structures are bay windows, pedimented porches, classical and turned columns, and decorative spindle or fretwork. Sometimes you'll also see um, unique style uh, shingles in uh, the gables of these structures, uh, decorative vents. Um, there are lots of unique details on Queen Anne style buildings. The next uh, architectural style we'll cover is Colonial Revival. This was a popular style in the early to mid 20th century. And there are several different subcategories within the colonial revival style, including Dutch colonial, neoclassical, federal, Georgian, and Greek revivals. Um, within Elmwood Park, there are examples that are both brick and lapsided, as well as um, examples of houses in many of the subcategories of the colonial revival style. We have an example of uh, a Dutch colonial revival uh, style building in the district still, which is characterized by its gambrel style roof, um, which is really unique and quite beautiful. The next house type I'd like to talk about is the American Foursquare. This is not an architectural style, but rather a building form. Um, and it's also commonly found in the district. Like uh, the colonial revival style buildings, it was popular in the early to mid 20th century and it's characterized by its boxy or square design and frequently includes full width front porches, hip roofs, and dormers. Um, in addition to the form of the building, American four squares typically also include a style influence, as well as um, you know, their architectural form. Similarly, we have the shotgun style house. Um, like the American Foursquare, this is really a form rather than a style of building and can often feature an architectural style in addition to the form as well. It was common, uh, a common form used throughout the South from the mid 19th through the early 20th century. Um, and it's characterized by its very narrow footprint that typically only includes um, one room in width and uh, a narrow hallway connecting all of the rooms. So it tends to be narrower um, and quite deep. The last style we'll talk about is the craftsman style and bungalows. Uh, these are predominantly found on Clark Street and the Northern part of Park Street. Um, and it tends to represent a later phase of development in the district. 
Um, the craftsman style was popular in the late, uh, late 1920s and early 1930s um, through the early 1940s rather um, in Colombia. So uh, it again represents that later phase of development in the district. There is an early uh, example of uh, a craftsman style structure in the district that's located on Gadsden Street um, and is shown here. But more typically, um, you'll see uh, structures like this one that's on the screen now. Um, they're more the more common form of the craftsman style buildings in the district. So that's a brief overview of the Elmwood Park Architectural Conservation District, its history and architectural styles. Uh, if you have any questions about Elmwood Park or about uh, Columbia's other historic districts, or maybe this video uh, gave you some thoughts about other things you'd like to hear us cover in the future, uh, send us an email at preservation at and, and let us know what you think or share your questions. And thanks so much for watching today.